Today, an important step could ultimately determine the outcome of the Ray Tensing trial. Potential jurors will answer questions designed to help weed out bias in that case. Not on your side's Kristen Swilly is live now with what the day holds for those who are reporting at the Hamilton County Courthouse this morning. Kristen. Well, more than 200 prospective jurors have an incredibly busy morning on their hands, answering a 25 page questionnaire, not unlike this one agreed on by both the prosecution and the defense. Now, the actual document in that case is not being released to the public, but a legal expert I spoke to said that questionnaire is almost guaranteed to include questions about police, about politics, even about movements like Black Lives Matter. Now, I sat down with defense attorney Marty Pinellas, and he told me that this is definitely an important stage in this trial. He said that he would, uh, they are definitely trying to find people who have qualities that both sides may be looking for in an ideal jury. He says the questions go beyond obvious signs of bias as both the prosecution and defense seek people who will be sympathetic to their cause. There are a lot of psychological questions as well, because the whole purpose is to try and get a juror which is going to be a little more leaning towards your side. Now, the other thing that a questionnaire is trying to do is to weed out people that definitely have made up their minds on this case. Penalist tells me it's still not too late for this trial to actually move out of town if through this process they are not able to find a group of people who can in fact be neutral. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.